Sorry, y'all. I had to make sure this thing works. Wait a minute. Hey, everybody. It's Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I appreciate your support. Make sure you hit the notification bell, too. Now, I hope I'm not dragging. Let me check. It kind of looks like it is, um, but I won't look at myself. So I'm going to give you um, a gem. Okay, y'all know I'm always dropping those, right? So I'm going to show you something that I do on the side to make some income, okay? So if you are an individual and you like to shop, ladies, I know you like to shop. Um, I just find that because of the pandemic, I don't want to be out around people. Plus, I just don't want to be out around people. And I just don't want to be out around people, okay? So for the most part, this is a safe way of shopping. I can get what I want. Um, and I flip it if this is not something that I can use. And I want to show you what I do. All right. So this site is called Gov Deals. All right. Um, it is basically a small um, branch of liquidation.gov. If you guys go there, um, they are another site that you can buy stuff in mass quantity. If you do not want to get it from um, Ali, AliExpress, Alibaba, you can go and buy things from California on pallets, large stuff, uh, especially if you're someone who has a dollar store, um, a thrift store, or, or something where you sell a lot of items very cheaply, liquidation.gov would be good. But GovDeals is um, a site where uh, actually the company manages a lot of government property and they make it available for us to be able to view and bid um, and buy these things for our home, for our business, whatever they may be. Um, you can get vehicles, you can get a lot of stuff off of here. So let me, um, I'm just going to scroll a little bit so you can see some of the things that they offer. They do have a lot of categories, A through Z. One of my favorite categories is office equipment. Um, I do like looking at the vehicles. Um, depending on where you are located, you may find that it might be worth um, driving a couple hours to get a car if you can get a decent car with no mileage. Um, I would tell you before I get too deep in this, um, a couple things. If it is something that you really want and it is expensive, something more than a couple hundred dollars, some people a couple hundred dollars is expensive, but if it's your type of expensive and um, you want it, you need to go and see it. Now, there are items that I have bought that I have not seen. I have done about 50-50. Um, there are some things I'm like, oh, why the hell did I get it? It wasn't a waste worth my time. And then there were some things it was like, you know, let me see what I can do with this. Okay. So, um, and then of course there are things I absolutely love and I still have. So if it's something that you're concerned about, you may want to go and actually uh, view the item. And depending on where you're located and where the item is located, you'll make that determination if you want to go and view it. All right. So you will see they do have cars. You'll see it says here, um, uh, passenger vehicle. Another um, area, they have a lot of equipment. They have a lot of trucks, a lot of things. All right. So I think I'm already logged in um, and I'm going to show you what I do. So let me see. So I'll go to advanced search. Now you don't have to do that. You can look by category. I don't want to look by category because I'm afraid that I'm going to fall in love with something that I cannot buy because it's too far away from me. I also love getting gym equipment. So if you're somebody and you want to get gym equipment, you don't mind if it's used, then um, you would probably like it. So I live in Florida. So I'm going to select Florida. You don't have to do this, but this is what I do so that I can see only what they have available in my area. All right. Now, I do look at this a lot on my phone. I am doing this from Loom. So this is why um, uh, it shows a little different for me. Um, but I usually always set my camera to 50 items per page so that I can see more and have less pages. Sometimes when I have a lot of pages to go through that I see that are waiting for me, it gives me a little bit of anxiety, right? Now I'm gonna show you just a couple of things. They do have property on here, all right? So if you are a um, person that you are into buying, um, oh God, it'll come to me, uh, 
the deeds. If you're buying um, the tax deeds, you can buy them here. A lot of these properties are, um, they used to be managed by the city, but the city found it to be too much of a hassle. So they now have given it to this company and they let them manage. Now you will find the city, you'll find police departments on here. You will find a lot of school systems. You will find military bases. You may find prisons on here that they're all basically giving up items that they no longer have usage for. And now you get a chance to bid. So you will see property. Property usually shows up very up first, not very first. It all usually shows up first. Um, let me see. I'm going to find something that I would get. I'm looking at, they have trailers. They have vehicles. Uh, all right, I'm gonna find out now. Look at that now. See, I like stuff like this. This is a transit, um, uh, wheelchair van. If somebody's trying to start a transportation company, and uh, you're gonna get um, uh, certified by Medicaid to take individuals to their appointments, this may be a place you want to go. So, I'm not gonna open it up. Um, we're just gonna see what it's running for right now. The current bid is $9,100. It's in Tampa, and two people have bid on it. Now, one thing you will need to notice about this site is you need to check the closing dates of these bids because sometimes they close on the weirdest times and if you're not paying attention you will think you're winning and then boom somebody gonna slide in and get you at the last second one thing i like to do is i like to bid at night um usually when i think everybody else is sleeping because i've given them the opportunity to go ahead and be in charge the whole time but once they are in the lead and they're asleep at night that's when i usually come in and um go in and bid all right there are some people that will um and i'll show you once i find something that i want and i'm really i haven't looked before i came on here this is completely just out of the blue now this is something pretty neat this is an office storage container i know you're probably thinking what do you need an office storage container for because you can use it to make an actual office space that's why um uh, you know you can cut into the window you can do something different with the front door but look at that it has five bits and right now it's four thousand dollars so I go on here again, like I said, I like to go in here for exercise equipment. I've gone in here and bought lots of equipment from schools. I'm actually surprised y'all. They haven't even really found anything that I like. So I just won um, something recently. Um, I just won um, two whiteboards that they have in the schools. Um, the ones that you use with the actual projector the touch whiteboards, I won those. Uh, and they also came with a, uh, a stand that is on wheels. So that was one of the reasons that I got it because it was gonna be mobile and it's not one that you have to install. Oh, look at that, washing machines. Now that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Let's see, these are used, okay, there's in QS and they're for 2,500, but they're commercial washing machines. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm looking at things the way that I'm looking at it, okay? But I wanna find something that's really gonna hit me. So I can, like I said, tell you how, um, you know, I make a couple dollars, okay? So, um, yeah, I got the ones with the wheels because they were going to be easier um, in the event you know, I want to use them to teach, you know, I, I want to be able to have something that has some portability. So it worked for me. I've also gotten um, big, large printers. Okay. Uh, I got big, large printers from there uh, as well. Uh, especially if you're someone that is starting a business, you're moving into an office, you're getting ready. It's tax season. You might want to get a printer. Not just your regular desktop printer. I mean, a floor size printer, one that you actually, um, you know, got to roll in. You know, the one that the people actually have to come out and service and you got to have them bring you the ink. You can get them from here. So not all of these things are old, dilapidated, or they just don't work. Sometimes they're past their service use. Uh, after a certain amount of time, the government may say, okay, this has used up its use, it's depreciated, and now we want to move on to something else i'm looking at this video and i swear on everything i really hope this is recording good because i'm gonna be pissed if i did this and it did not work out well okay it's really slow so and i don't know why um let me check my wi-fi real quick guys uh yeah it should be fine all right so as you see i'm not really finding anything super awesome on here so it's gonna make me ah here we go I knew sooner or later it was going to work. Okay. Well, this one is kind of, uh, yeah, I don't really like that one. 
that's an inflatable shooting gallery, not something that I'd like. If you're an individual, you have your securities license, you can buy military, you can buy weapons. They also sell weapons on here, okay? They sell police equipment. Um, only certain individuals can buy those things, but they do have them, okay? So I feel like I'm actually just taking you guys shopping with me right now because nothing is really just, they're, you know, coming at me all, you know. All right, I'm just going to use this. This is a one-on-one inflatable um, with blower. All right. Now, the reserve is not met. So this is what it will look like if you found something that you wanted to buy. As you see, it has a day and 16 hours left. Remember, we creep at night so that we could get that item while they're asleep. So basically, the reason I chose this is because who doesn't like an inflatable item? Kids absolutely love it. And it's foot ball so it looks like it's basketball here on one side let me see if i can bring this i don't know y'all it looks like it's basketball and football on one side i don't really know um but i'm trying to see if it lets you change these pictures to look at something else don't really let you blow a lot up all right so we know it's a football ow and it's one-on-one -on -one. i don't know if that's jordan it might be his brother fordon but uh that ain't him okay so this right now is 450. It's saying that the reserve is not met. We don't know what the reserve is. We won't know until somebody actually meets it. This is telling you the buyer's premium is 10%, meaning this is what you're going, you're going to pay 10% of the price to, um, uh, it's like a finder's fee. You're going to pay it to the government. You're also going to pay it to this company. Everybody's going to get a little piece, okay? You got your starting bid, which is they put a 450. They're letting you know you can only, uh, Bid, you could do bid increments in uh, increments of 50. Um, I've done some that are increments of $10, $12, but this says 50, right? Now, I'm not interested in this, but say that I was. I'm going to tell you what I would do. I would read down here on the condition so I can see what they're talking about. I When they start saying it, so, uh, it's sold as is, where is, or, you know, sold as is, basically that means that uh, you need to get down there and look at it because you may not like it, okay? Uh, they will not answer any questions um, about the item if it is sold as is now if you want to know if it has any rips or tears they may be able to tell you things like that but sometimes they don't and you would have to um, either send them a question down here or call if they put their information to let them know see they put the, the call information they didn't even they didn't give it to you They're not even giving you the address or any of the information until you um get it so basically after you win you have five days and i did just win something so let me see if i can bring it up all right, so I just won a brand new in the box um, pressure washer. So what I did was I um, went and I looked it up on Amazon because I just really wanted to see if I was going to do, if, you know, if it was worth it. And at the time it was 200 bucks. Um, and I think Amazon had it for 350. I need a pressure washer and it was brand new in the box. So it was brand new and it means not used. I shouldn't have any issues and um, I've bought from here a few times, so why not? So, <clears throat> as you can see, I won. Um, and there goes my buyer's premium, that 10%. Uh, 275 is what I paid in the end, 27.50. They did charge me tax. Uh, and then, um, I don't know what BP tax is, but they charged it. So basically it was 325. It's still $25 cheaper, but here is where it's a bad purchase, I'm going to tell you, because this is a few hours away from me and I have to go and drive to go and get it. But something about this that is different from most of the items that I win is that this um, particular place that is uh, having me come and pick it up, they are allowing me to have someone come in my place. Most um, places only allow the individuals whose name is on the certificate and they don't like substitutions. But this place will allow my sister, in this case, to go and pick it up. So now I don't have to and she can hold it. And when we normally see each other, she can just bring it. So in that case, yeah, yeah it could have been a good deal. Maybe not. Okay. Um, but this is what I just recently bought. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to see if it's going to let me show my past bids, okay? Let me go to my past bids. I want to show you. So I sh basically showed you what you're going to do if you see what you like, but 
to give you a better idea, uh, let's see, hopefully it'll show. I don't even think it's going to spend in more than a year, I believe. So when I find something that I like, all right, let's just use the whiteboards. I paid um, 40 bucks for the whiteboard, as you can see, right? Pretty nice board. Um, you do have to do your research a little bit so that you can, that's why I'm glad that they showed, let me go back, that they tried to show the name. Um, let's see, we didn't do it that well. Let me keep going. All right, so they put the name, there it is. So they put the name so that you can go and see if you're going to need a certain type of software. I knew when I purchased these that these were going to require me to have a um, projector. Um, you would have to have some um, software. It's not usually super expensive to buy, but I got these. And then when I got them, I realized I didn't want them, but I paid $40 for these. But the board alone goes for $50 on Facebook. But now that I have the rack on it, I can charge another 50 bucks and make it a hundred dollars. And I made 60 bucks on this one, but I also bought another one for half the price and I can, and it came with a board too. Oh, it's not even letting me go back. Sorry, y'all probably cause I'm not supposed to go back. Um, so basically I'm making money off of the boards that I purchased on here. So I hate they're only doing this last 14 days. And if you guys are watching from uh, Gov Deals, put the last five years. We want to be able to see our purchases instead of just a year ago. So $37.25. So, okay. So in total, 44 bucks and 30 bucks. And if I sell the both of them for 200 bucks, I pay 70. I netted $130. Now, I did have to go and pick this up. It was a nice ride for me. Um, you guys do need to take into consideration that you will have to go somewhere. So if it's going to be far away, a couple hours away, you need to be prepared for that. If it's just a quick trip, um, something you can pack the kids up, make a day out of it, do that. But bid on things that you either want, that you can resale, um, or that you can turn around and give as gifts. You see, I just got the pressure washer. What man wouldn't want me to re-gift that in the box and give it to him? Okay, I call it smart shopping. Also, you guys remember I mentioned the police on here. So you will see a lot of items from a bus. There have been people who have, they, they have gold coins. They have the money from other countries. So they have the other the foreign currency. Um, I was just recently going back and forth for a coach purse. Uh, you'll see jewelry. Um, I've also watched other YouTubers actually do videos on purchasing bulk items from the post office for mail that has never been picked up. Um, uh, and you buy that from this website. She never mentioned the website, but it, you can get it from this website. If you live in Atlanta and you want a way of making some extra money, look at those um, post office postings where they have that information where you could go, not information, but they have the items where you could go and buy bulk stuff and turn around and resell these things. You don't know where you're going to get um, because it's all closed, so you can't see it. The items I purchase are items I can see. You know, we don't have that luxury of having those type of postings around here. We have other things. So you do need to be aware of where you're looking, which is why I search by state. OK, so this is just one of the ways that I take items that I buy um, and sell them. My one last story and I'll let you guys go. I bought a big, large printer. I wanted to be able to show you guys the printer, but it's not here. And it was an office printer that they use on the military base. And I paid 60 bucks for it. And I had two of them, okay? So they were 60 each. So, um, no, they were 60 together. I apologize. They were 30 and 30. Um, I didn't know the um, necessarily if it was in great operation. It did say that it worked uh, and that I would need power cords because they didn't have any more power cords. So I did have to buy the two power cords. They were only like two or three bucks from Amazon. Um, I got there, I plugged it up, and I tried it. Here's what happened. I did not like that I could not Wi-Fi on it because it was an outdated printer. So I ended up contacting a company that specializes in printer machine sales or copy machine sales. So I actually had them come out and um, I said, look, I have two machines that I want to get rid of and to get a credit.
So my copy machine that I wanted was about 2000 bucks. Okay. It did the Wi-Fi, I could do it from a phone. It, it did everything, you know, it did the network printing, all of that. But for those two big old printers that I did not like that I paid 60 bucks for in total, I got $1,200 in a check. I got the option to get $1,200 in a check or use it as a credit towards my balance. I chose to get the check because if I'm going to build business credit, I need to make payments. So I I chose to make payments and use the check of the money for something else. So there are things that you can do to make a little money off of these sites. Um, a lot of people don't go on here, believe it or not. They A lot of people do not go. And if they do, some of them are only looking for certain things, police auctions. You know, they're not looking for um, the school stuff. So if you're a small business owner and you're thinking about starting a, um, a business on wheels, they have the buses, they have um, a, a, a step vans, they have these type of things that you can use. If you're getting into the restaurant industry, the catering industry, they have chafing dishes, they have um, tables and chairs and linens you can buy. This is one of the places that I go and check once a week because you never know what you're going to need or what will pop up you just never know and it's always a good time to stock up and have things if you know that you can turn around and sell them or incorporate them into your business idea okay so anyway i'm gonna keep y'all i just wanted to show you one of the places that i go when i'm looking to flip my dollar all right so y'all have a good one i'll talk to you soon bye